gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop playing this, gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta playing this game. What's up, gamers? I'm John, and welcome back to my Level Up News, where I bring you the latest and greatest in gaming news every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's November 11th, 2024, and we have some thrilling updates. From Elite Genshin Impact Sword, Honkai Star Wars New Path, and Nintendo's lawsuit against Power, the success of Pokemon TCG Pocket, Marvel Bible updates, and a surprising legal battle over pirated content. Let's get you leveled up for today's news, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments down below. According to Game Rant, Genshin Impact players are buzzing about a new leak that suggests the upcoming release of a powerful new weapon, the Calamity of Ishu. Designed to enhance elemental damage, this free-to-earn weapon could shift the balance for players who haven't invested in premium weapons. With its rumored high attack stats and unique passive abilities, it's geared towards elemental builds, allowing players to tackle challenging content without needing top-tier weapons from the gacha system. Speculation suggests it will be released during a limited time event, sparking anticipation among free-to-play users and veteran players alike. If the leak is accurate, Clarity of Ishu might just become a new favorite. Are you excited to try it out and see if it lives up to the hype? Let me know down below. Gamer and community forums are buzzing with discussions around a new leak for Honkai Star Rail that suggests the addition of a trailblazer path focusing on elemental attacks. This path is expected to bring unique abilities and potential for exclusive Trailblaze characters, which could diversify gameplay strategies. If confirmed, it will be the first major shift in playstyle options for Honkai Star Rail players since launch, bringing a much needed meta change to the game. This leak has players speculating about potential new synergies and builds, making it an exciting development for fans. Will this new path reshape the way you play, or are you sticking with your current team competitions? Let me know down below. NME and GamesRadar recently reported that Nintendo has initiated legal actions against Power World, a game accused of infringing on Pokemon copyrights. What's surprising is that despite the lawsuit, Power World is still dominating Japan's PS5 charts, beating out popular titles like Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. The game mixes survival mechanics with creature collection gameplay, drawing undeniable inspiration from Pokemon. Nintendo argues that Power World crosses the line from homage to imitation, and the lawsuit will spark industry-wide discussions on copyright originality. So, do you think Power World should face consequences, or is Nintendo overstepping by targeting it? NME reports that Pokemon TCG Pocket could soon surpass Pokemon Go in both revenue and player engagement. This digital trading card game has introduced innovative features like competitive tournaments, event exclusive cards, and player versus player matchups, attracting a massive player base. Analysts suggest that its strong launch numbers indicate that TCG Pocket might establish a new standard for digital card games. By mixing nostalgia with new competitive elements, Pokemon TCG Pocket has carved out a unique space within the Pokemon franchise. Are you planning to dive into this game, or do you think it can truly outshine Pokemon Go? Let me know down below. Game Rant reports that Marvel Rivals has introduced Moon Knight, bringing his iconic healing ability, which grants health regeneration under high damage conditions. Moon Knight's mechanics add strategic death, allowing players to make riskier moves during combat. Fans of Moon Knight are thrilled with the attention to detail in his moveset as it captures his darker, grittier character. This update has sparked a new excitement in Marvel Rivals with players eager to explore Moon Knight's potential in the current meta. Do you think Moon Knight's addition will change the game or are you hoping to see other Marvel characters join soon? Engadget recently reported on Nintendo's multi-million dollar lawsuit against a streamer who has allegedly distributed pirated software. This lawsuit aims to set a precedent as Nintendo is increasingly vigilant against privacy to protect its IPs. The streamer has gained a considerable following with many fans defending him, arguing that strict copyright policies stifle creativity. However, Nintendo maintains that such actions harm the gaming industry, especially as they invest heavily in new software. The debate is complex with strong opinions on both sides. Where do you stand on this issue? Do you think Nintendo is protecting its interests or is this lawsuit a step too far? 
Gaming Bible reports that Rockstar recently teased gameplay footage from the long-awaited GTA 6, showcasing updated mechanics like real-time weather effects, advanced AI, and enhanced graphics. The teaser has reinvigorated excitement for the game, giving fans a taste of what could be Rockstar's most ambitious title to date. The open world experience seems to be richer than ever, with immersive details that hint at a game designed to push technological boundaries. Fans are speculating about storyline elements and new character options, and some are predicting a leap in multiplayer features. What are your thoughts on the teaser? Do you think GTA 6 will live up to the massive expectations, or will it be a massive letdown? Gamerant recently reported that Sega has removed over 70 classic games from digital storefronts, sparking disappointment among retro gaming fans. Sega claims the move is part of a broader effort to update its offerings, hinting that new versions of these classics will be in the works. While this might lead to remastered or bundled versions in the future, many fans are concerned about the loss of these iconic titles. The decision has sparked debates on game preservation, with fans calling for more accessible ways to enjoy retro titles. Are you hoping Sega brings these titles back, or do you think they're taking the right steps forward for the future? Game Rant and recent critics are praising Dragon Age The Veil Guard as one of Bioware's best recent RPGs, featuring a compelling storyline, deep character development, and immersive environments. Fans of Dragon Age are particularly impressed with how the Veil Guard captures the series' essence while introducing fresh mechanics. The combat system has been refined to balance strategy with action, and the choices players make seem to carry more weight. Critics have even compared it favorably to past Bioware hits like Mass Effect. If you're a Dragon Age fan, this might be a must play. Are you planning to dive in, or do you think it lives up to Bioware's legendary repetition? And that's a wrap for today's gaming news. From Genshin Impact's new Sword League, Pokemon TCG Pocket's rising popularity, the GTA 6 gameplay teasers, and Dragon Age The Veil Guard's glowing reviews, we've got a lot covered today. What are your thoughts on the stories we've discussed? Drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any future updates coming up. See you next time, gamers.